Hello beauties. So today I have a transformation video for you. My baby sister had a party the other day and I did her makeup for her. So if you're interested then just keep on watching. So I already primed her eyes and what I'm doing here is I'm applying this really light brown color into the crease and blending it up and this will work as a transition color um, for when I apply more shadows into her face. So now I applied a matte white color into her brow bone and this is going to work as a highlight. Now I'm just adding more depth into her crease by adding this matte gray shadow into it. So I decided that doing her other eye first would be a lot easier to film and show you guys. So now what I'm just doing is adding the same matte white color that I added into her brow bone onto her lid. And I just blended a darker brown color into her crease. So now to really define her crease, I'm just adding this black color into it and it's not totally matte, it has a little bit of shimmer to it so it kind of has like a gray undertone to it. So yeah, I'm just going to blend that in. So the key to this look is really to blend and you're going to see throughout the video I'm really going to blend this eyeshadow out. I applied some falsies and I put some under eye cream to help the concealer not to crease and now I'm just smudging the same brown color used in the crease onto the lower lash line. Now for foundation, I like to apply it after any eye makeup because of eyeshadow fallout so it won't blend into the foundation. So I'm just going to blend the foundation in and then I'm going to apply some under eye concealer and blend it out with the beauty blender. Let's break away from what we know. Just say the word, just say go. No better time than now to make our move. Let's find a place to leave our shoes among the stars. They have no use when I'm with you. When I'm with you, I feel so weightless. Let's fly. For the eyebrows, I brush them out first, fill them in with the pencil, and then perfect them with powder. Now I'm just going to set her face with some translucent matte powder. Now I'm just contouring her face and then I'm going to add a uh, pinky blush. And now I'm just applying a gold highlight on the top of her cheekbones, a little bit on her nose and on her forehead. Now to lock everything into place, I'm first spraying a moisturizing setting spray and on top of that an oil control setting spray and you can see my other little sister in the background which I did for makeup too. And 
we're all done. This is her final look. I think she looks absolutely gorgeous. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.